Hey guys, uh, good evening and welcome to our final regular season hoop state on a Friday with the season ending next Thursday. We'll have a big hoop state next Thursday night. And of course, mark it down a week from Saturday, 7 o'clock, our tournament preview show back February 11th. Looking forward to that along with Michael Hoffer. All right, let's get to the action tonight at Noble. Short Sky was out at Noble. Red Storm visiting the Knights. Red Storm down big in the third. Nate Glidden working inside for the bucket. The Knights, Jameer Rose. Gets to the foul line. That's where he can work. Knocks it down. From there, the Knights, well, they can show the passing here. Exhibit A, off the miss. Rose to Isaiah Connery to Jaden Dameron for the basket. Then Dameron, the three in transition. 78-61, Noble with the impressive win. Thornton Academy at Edward Little. This was tied at the half at 30. Marshall Adams well within his range, knocking it down. Battle of the coaches, sons. The other way, Will Davies going to work the tough hoop in traffic. Then off the offensive rebound, Trey Eldred. TA outscored the Eddies 21 to seven in the third. Braden Kamiri then the hoop and the foul. 65-50, Thornton the win, they're 14 and two. Chevris with a night of offense against Massabesic. Patrick Mukisa passes ahead to Jamison Fitzpatrick for the lay-in. Fitzpatrick, who's a freshman, got some big minutes in the fourth. He had 11. Silvano Ishmael had 29. 96 35. Chevrolet the win. Deering looking for a win up north against Hamden Academy. Trip Marston driving baseline for Deering, and it's good. But Hamden, too many weapons. Zach McLaughlin, the jumper. 73 50. Hamden over Deering. Now, the race for playoff spots is on in several classes. In A South Boys, Brunswick, Bitterford, Freeport, and Mount Ararat still in contention to grab the eighth and final seed heading into tonight. All but Freeport on the court tonight. We start out in Falmouth. Bitterford looking for a big heel point win, taking on the Navigators. Paul Dilworth drives, dishes it off to Judd Armstrong for the lay-in. He had 14. Then Chris Simon stepping out. The big man showing the range. He had a game-high 22. Drew Smith. The Tigers hero in a win over Marshwood last weekend hits the tough three, but it wasn't enough. Marshwood 56-28 over Bitterford. How about Brunswick? Could they upset Marshwood tonight and get some big heel points? David Lane for the Hawks drives. Hawks up 14 after three. Dragons a quick start to the fourth. Noah Johnson, Trey Bien. But Jason Singer helping put the game away with the drive for two. And Marshwood on the road, the win 57-49. How about Mount Ararat? Could they draw closer to the eight seed? Taking on Kenny Bunk. Late in the fourth, Andrew Clemens, the lay-in. Mount Ararat by five. And here comes Kenny Bunk. Max Andrews from downtown, the three. Then Theo Pau drives for two. Rams down one with 16 seconds left. But John Martin seals it at the line with the free throws. 56-42, Mount Ararat, a big win, drawn closer to the playoffs. Hey, how about up north? Unbeaten Brewer hosting Skowhegan. The Witch Project, unbeaten no more. Kyle LePage working inside for two. Then Adam Savage, the putback. Brewer had a chance to tie it in the final seconds of the line, but Skowhegan hands Brewer its first loss. How about that? Hey, Southern Sea, Monmouth at Winthrop. Kyle Pileschi. Knocking down threes. Mustangs start the game on a 12-0 run, looking for a rare win at Winthrop. For the Ramblers, some nice ball movement. Andrew Fay to Braden Stubbert, back to Mac Beck for the basket. Mustangs would build the lead, though, to double digits. Manny Calder, he had 18. Then Pileschi, the steal and the finish. Monmouth with the win, 52-49. They hold off the Rambler comeback. Trape Academy and NYA battling for a final playoff spot in Southern Sea. Terry Gagner attacking the glass for Trape. Rangers with the lead in the second. Colin Roderick spots up for the corner three. NYA takes the lead. But Sam Jordan answers with the three for the Rangers and a big win for Trape, 67-62 over NYA. Yarmouth boys hosting Lake Region. First quarter, Macatro doing what he does. Steps back, knocks down the three. He had 16. End of the quarter, Jacob Chadburn beats the buzzer for three. He had 15. Lakers trying to get back in it. Clippers going to run. Evan Ham, the jumper, he had 13. 53-45 Yarmouth, they've won eight straight. Wells really needing one tonight against Greeley to help their chances. Eli Roy doing all he could. He had 16. In the third, they're down five. Other way for the Rangers, Seamus Raftus, the smooth jumper. This Ranger team, they love the close games. End of the third, Ben Grieve, the follow. Greeley's lead down to one going into the fourth. Early in the fourth, a dagger. Tyler Pettengill, the quick release. He had 18. Wells wouldn't go away. Jeremy Terrian, the three. Wells down one with under three left, but Greeley would do some work at the line, and then Jackson Letting finishing as they break the press. 60-53, to 53, the Rangers win. 
Poland at Cape. John Patno, he's a playmaker to watch. Making some moves here. He's a shot maker. Tough move. The sophomore had 16. For Cape, Eddie Caldera gets in the paint, kicks out to Owen Ty for three. He had 23. Later, Sam Lombardo to Antonio De La Quiva. 66 42. Cape the win. They had eight threes. And girls play tonight. Big heel points on the line for both Wells and Greeley as they are hoping to solidify tournament spots at the top half of the bracket. Wells up six in the third before Greeley starts to rally. CeCe Berthium gets the putback. Then in the fourth, Berthium steps outside, knocks down the three. She had 11. Wells responds in transition. Haley Marshall to Megan Mertens. She had 12. Then Marshall finds Marin Maxson, who also had 12. Wells with a big comeback win, 45-41 at Greeley. All right, back to Yarmouth for the Clippers and Lake Region girls. Both teams with some great defense in the first. Clippers go inside, but Ava Smith with the rejection. Then the Clippers in transition, and Smith with another block. Yarmouth with the pressure. Nina Panazzo, the steal and the jumper, but it was the Lakers' night, 49-34, Lake Region the win. Thornton Academy hosting Edward Little. T.A. getting it to Jessica Dow. She pumps, fakes, gets to the hoop for the tough finish. For E.L., Rachel Penny looking out ahead, finds Tess Robbins running the floor. E.L. a lead midway through the first quarter. But Addison Sulikowski goes on a run of her own. The spin, she scores seven straight points. T.A. takes the lead for good, 50-38. to 38. They win at Sulikowski with 15. Noble at Scarborough tonight. Caroline Hartley in charge from the tip. She breaks in for the basket after the steal. She had 14 in the first half, 23 in the game. Hartley and Scarborough roll 54 to 15. Mount Ararat at Kennebunk. Eagles by nine at the break. Elena Wills, one of seven sophomores for Mount Ararat, knocks down the three. Other way, Ruby Slikowski from downtown. Kennebunk within striking distance midway through the fourth, but Kaylee Wag. Nice post move inside. Mount Ararat holds off Kenny Bunk 55 41. They're 13 3. Falmouth at Bitterford tonight. Navigators up 18 at the break and running. Katie Lazaritis ahead of the pack for two. Then Anna Turgeon working the glass for the putback. 60 29. Falmouth. They are 10 6. Hey, Gray to Gloucester hosting Freiburg. Amber Fortin going baseline for Gray. She had 11, but Freiburg came to play. Carla Pinto Galley gets the friendly roll. And then Mina Milosevic, the baseline jumper, she had 25. Freiburg with a big upset, 53-48 in overtime over the Patriots. Monmouth Academy hosting Winthrop. We go, oh, and that was it. Pretty good show right there. Thanks for joining us.